What's it like being back in Nebraska and being able to play at the pro level? It's a dream come true. Um, even a year ago today, no one would have thought this would be a reality. So it's really life changing for so many of us. In particularly me, being an Omaha native, being able to play for my home city and my home state, it's a huge blessing. And it's a sigh of relief, honestly, that we can continue our professional careers right here in our home soil. We don't have to go overseas anymore and be in foreign land and foreign languages and whatnot. So it's really a blessing for all of us. And do you think this was something that like the Nebraska population just kind of wanted or at least could handle? <laughs> oh yeah, I think they, I, you ask any Nebraskan, they're, they love volleyball. So of course they're all really excited about this, which I think they deserve this. I think choosing Omaha to host a team was a no brainer by the Pro Volleyball Federation, but I think Nebraskans really earned it. They are incredible fans and they are so passionate about the sport. So like I said, it was a no brainer for the PVF to put a team here. Janet, how excited are you, you know, to be a month away, you know, from, you know, stepping back foot on the volleyball stage here in Nebraska? How excited are you for that? Yeah, um, we've been working tw since uh, July 1st, and so there's been such a buildup, and so we're finally so excited that there's actually now action, and we get to actually partake in practices and get involved with the team and so it's finally taking off because I feel like it's been a long time since July um, so we're really really excited it's hard to contain it at times um, but it's showing in the gym already and I know that my teammates are really happy to be here in particular in Nebraska because they know people love volleyball here and people are very friendly that they, they've already noticed that and so we're all very very excited. What are people going to notice you know as the competition you know on the court you know they're so used to seeing high level d1 you know competition here in the state mm -hmm. but what are they going to be able to see to actually see you know pro volleyball some of them have seen you know some of the international you know circuit when it's came you know came through here or in lincoln but what are yeah what are fans going to be able to see that? Um, I think that they're, so credit to our universities here in Nebraska, Creighton, you know, they've done a great job of representing great volleyball in our state, but I think the fans are going to be even more impressed on the strength and the speed that you see with professional and international volleyball. So I think it will just elevate the game and make it that much more exciting and entertaining for our fans. How did the first day of practice go with the team? Just how is it meshing? What are the vibes? Yeah. First day, I am thoroughly impressed. I am so proud of um, every player that stepped in the gym today. We brought so much energy and we were already like building on our culture and just our expectations. And so it was a very, very high level, literally from the very first drill. We were all kind of like, whoa, this is intense. But we all stepped up to the challenge and it was very impressive today. What would you say maybe the biggest uh, uh, difference between college level, this level, style, play, or intensity? or? Um, yeah, I would say that the power and the speed. Those are two big steps up, step ups from uh, college. Like I said, the universities here and all around the country are doing a fabulous job demonstrating wonderful play. Um, but that's just what you get when you go from college to professional is just a little more power and a little more speed, and it's really impressive. What do you think it means to a college athlete who works their butt off in the college level, but now to have this potential to play pro just back home? Yeah, I that's what I tell a lot of like the younger girls. And then I talk about, you know, I wish I was in college right now because they now have something to look forward to. They have a dream to, to dream even bigger because when I was in college, I didn't have that. And so I think it's such a unique and cool opportunity in particular the girls this year, seniors, who get to participate in the first ever draft. I am so jealous. I think that is just going to be a, a fantastic event and experience for those college girls, but it just made their dreams that much bigger.